All right, before I head in, a few finishing touches. Here's my little um, little thing I did with the yogurt container, and I pushed the lid in. This is stiffened up actually really fast, so I hope it's not too dry. Now I wanna be able to take that lid and flip it over and put it on the inside. So I'm going to cut this out. Always cut a little bigger and can always trim it down later. Oh, this got really dry. So we'll pull that off around there and it's a little too big. I'm going to shave off. Gosh, I didn't cut it very round, did I? All right, so keeping it down flat. Cutting off the marks where it had that flange. really got dry. I guess it's pretty thin. Loosen it up. And with a little more trimming, that will just sit right down on that flange. You can put a little fancy knob on it. This is my part right here. I don't know if you can see that. Got to really get all that flange off. I'm a little worried about putting it in there. It might not come back out. That should fit right in just like that. And that's how you can create a domed lid that will fit right in there. Put a little fancy knob on top, decorate a little more on the sides, get it to pop out. And I think I'll work on that a little bit more later. Let me check my other big lid, get rid of those crumbs. This one isn't quite as stiff. So there's the nice domed part. And you can see the flange in there. I want it to sit down on there. So I'm going to do the same thing. Cutting right Of course, this is only one way to make a lid. I was playing around with some lids last night, those little uh, pots I showed you earlier. I'll show you the other one I did like this that actually kept its flange. So we'll pull that off. So this one that I did last night was done the same way except I kept the flange so it sits on top there and put coils in there. I had to clean that up a little bit more still. But the coil in there then keeps the lid from sliding around. So that was kind of fiddly to do, fun little base on there. So that was really fiddly to get this tiny little coil in there um, to get it. But that's uh, an example with the flange this little guy just has a whole oval that fits inside of there. So that just sits on there. You always need something for the lid. And this is a flat one. So this one, I did the flange inside 
like the uh, two I'm just doing here, but without the domed lid, just with the flat lid that sits right down in there. So lots of fun little things you can do. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Does this fit? It's a little, oh, it's a little soft. Oh, I'm gonna lose the dome. But that, I think, will fit in there. I may need to let it sit here a bit longer. The flange was quite dry. But, see how it's gonna fit in there. If I flip it over, I'm gonna lose the the shape. So the flange was really dry, but I guess that inside part wasn't. So I think I'll let that sit up overnight and see how it is in the morning. I'll flip it over and hopefully it'll sit right on that ledge.